Was he conscious while you were doing this? We had a, a young man, he was about 17, and uh, he had all kinds of troubles with the, with his cranial nerves weren't working. So he did studies and found that he had bilateral uh, acoustic neuronomas, which were oh, about the size of a, uh, one of those nice round tomatoes, you know, that you buy at the store, not the great big ones, but they're big. They're almost as big as a baseball. Well, Carl, you just Amazing. told us what that was, but I haven't a clue about what you're talking about. You're using okay. words familiar to you, but unfamiliar. Oh, what yeah. are you talking about? Sorry. Okay. Uh, an acoustic neuronoma is a benign, that is, it's not a, a metastatic uh, tumor, but it grows right at, at the sides uh, of the uh, uh, brain stem. It's a tumor of the... Uh, auditory, the hearing nerve. And he had them on both sides. So he had these big uh, balls on each side and uh, he was beginning to have a lot of uh, difficulty walking and talking, which were uh, ind indicators that his brain stem was being compressed. And so we had a, a liver die surgery. So we uh, brought him in and put him in the sitting position, made a midline incision and, and opened the posterior fossa. That's uh, the very back part of the brain down below that little knob thing that you got on your brain. And then for 24 hours, we worked. This is very touchy little work because the seventh nerve, that's the facial nerve, and the eighth nerve, the hearing nerve, are right there and then he had uh, trouble swallowing and um, he had uh, trouble articulating words. He knew the words and he could say them, but he couldn't say them properly, properly because the nerves didn't work. Now he was, um, excuse me, was he conscious while you were doing this? No. No, oh, okay. He wasn't talking. No. That was, oh, oh no, no. All right. No, that would be an, uh, 24 hours not even having a surgery done to you was a pretty big ordeal. We had uh, two of us surgeons and we alternated and we had uh, some real helpful nurses, for example. Uh, we only got to go to the bathroom. Well, no, uh, that, that's a euphemism. We only got to urinate uh, once in our 12 hour shift. We couldn't leave the room because there was too uh, much risk of bleeding and all that. So the nurses were helpful and I will not expand. Uh, and that is how we got through that thing. Uh, they would bring in a, a drink of water and we'd take a quick slurp of that. We didn't need anything during that whole time either. When we were done, we had a completely open, empty area showing the brain stem, all those little nerves, and they are all intact. And I don't know who is the sickest, the patient or the, the doctors, but we, we got through that uh, and so did he. And over the course of a couple of years, he became very nearly normal. Now it's possible that uh, those tumors couldn't uh, reoccur. Unlikely though, I mean, that took him 17 years to get the first go around. Carl, thank you for that story.